everyone kilo two papa mike delta back here with another very short video i want to show you uh how the uh, tnc uh three uh from mobile Inc. works with the ic705 uh with their cable the uh, icom cable it doesn't list it on the website that it's uh, compatible with the 705 but it is works great i'm going to show you how i did it and um uh great i'm also going to be building the nucleo as well so uh, i want to test that out some other time but i'm going to show you how it works with the tnc3 it would work the same way with the new tnc4 would recommend that you uh, go out and buy yourself a nucleo it's uh, not going to cost you 150 bucks for a tnc you can build one for about 25 30 bucks so uh this is kilo 2 papa mike delta stand by we'll show you the new uh, IC705 with the MobileLink TNC3 uh, in operation. Okay, Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta back here. Uh, here's the cable uh, right here. Um, it's $9.95. Of course, you can build one of these yourself, uh, but I prefer to buy it uh, just because uh, I got to work and I got to do all sorts of other stuff in life. Uh, but it fits right into the microphone. Uh, and speaker jack right on the IC705, just like you would plug your microphone in there. And then I'm gonna plug it right into the TNC here like that. I have it charging, I don't need to have that USB plug on there, but I have it charging right now. Uh, so I'm gonna start chart, uh, turning everything on. Uh, first, I'm gonna turn uh, the radio on, I guess, get some signal coming into this thing. We only have the uh, internal battery, so we're running five watts. You're hearing uh, my bowfang in the background, just so I could hear audio. I'm gonna press once on the uh, uh, TNC3 to turn it on. There goes my green light, and it's red, and it's blinking blue. I'll turn on my, uh, uh, but I'm gonna go to uh, APRS Droid. I've already got the mobile link hooked up and already, um, uh, you know, hooked up to Bluetooth. So uh, I'm going to start tracking uh, right here like this. It says APRS has started. You can just hear it. You saw it there on the uh, IC705. I'm going to zoom in on this. So you can see it the next time it comes. There's a smaller signal. There's a bigger signal. You don't won't hear it on the radio. Now I'm going to well, let's watch the, uh, I didn't change any settings on the uh, ICOM 705 when I hooked this up. So I'm gonna hit send position, right? It takes a little while there, but I'm gonna see if it keys the transmitter and it should a little bit, we should see it go off in just a little bit after I hit uh, send. Right now it hasn't done anything, but it might. <laughs> I think it waits like 10 seconds or something because it might have sent it already. Yeah, it did at 6.49 Eastern, it sent it. So it's not gonna send it right away. Uh, but I'm gonna hit it send position again, see what it does. Uh, I wanna see this thing go into transmit, not just receive, right? Well, what's happening here? I don't hear any signals coming in. Okay, there's a sick that you saw the red light there. I just set my position. And of course I could send emails, I can send WinLink, I can do all those kinds of packet type of things with this simple setup here. Really great little device. Here is the Nucleo 7 uh, Nucleo TNC, which you can get for six dollars and ninety-five cents on the mobile link uh website the board and then the parts are about eighteen dollars so you're looking at about twenty five thirty dollars to build this thing of course if you want a nice fancy case uh you're gonna have to pay extra for that but this will work just as good with your 705 um you know that's decent 10 watts if you're in a you know built up area like this it's real easy to get a signal out there uh, but um, with 10 watts out in the field with a decent antenna, you might be able to hit a distant repeater, a uh, digipeater, you know, 50 miles away or so. Uh, but let's go over here. Let's check out how we're doing here. Uh, go see that we did get good. Uh, it sent out an email on the 12th. Uh, I hope it didn't send out an email that was sitting in there. But if it did, it came. it came back to me. Uh, we can hit there, and then we can see myself on the map there, right? 
There's K2PMD-7. Uh, He's walking about because this is my, um, that's my SSID for when I'm portable and uh, usually using an HT with that. Uh, but we can go over here to the APRS-5 map and, uh, and then we'll see it again too. K2PMD uh, there and I'm tracking on the, uh, and here's the cable itself if I didn't show it to you before. That's the TNC cable for ICOM, Yesu, and others. Now, I would say be careful. Uh, read this list here of compatible radios. They have a separate TNC cable for the Yesu, which I have for my FT65. Uh, but I needed a cable for the IC705, and that's this cable right here. Um, of course, you can build it uh, yourself if you want. Uh, but uh, this works perfectly. I'm going to send another... Um, position report here see what it does and of course got a small packet there and every 10 or 15 seconds we get another packet um, maybe even more than that depending on how they're coming out uh, but you can see there's KPMJW um, that's the club I belong to Skyview Radio Society and uh, so that's the simple setup here with your IC705, the mobile link TNC cable for 995 and a TNC3. But I would suggest you build one of these. It's a lot of fun to build these guys. Um, the uh, Nucleo TNC and uh, have fun now uh, with APRS packet, WinLink FM and all sorts of other cool things you can do with ham radio. This is Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta. Put your comments in the comment section, questions, and be sure to answer every single one. Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta. Uh, we'll, take, we'll catch you on the airwaves.